huduma za mahakama leo imemhoji Profesa Patricia Karime Mbote katika zoezi la kumsaka jaji wa mahakama kuu. Hii ilikuwa siku ya pili ya zoezi hili msomi huyu wa sheria akishinikizwa kujitetea kuwa ndiye bora kuchukua nafasi hiyo. Joshon Sare anatufungulia jambi la upeo. <coughs> Tume ya huduma za mahakama JSC iliendeleza zoezi la kumsaka takaye mridhi aliyekuwa jaji mkuu David Maraga kwa siku ya pili. Muhadhiri wa sheria Profesa Patricia Mbote alijipata katika wakati mgumu kueleza atakavotekeleza majukumu yake ikizingatiwa hajakuwa kiamua kesi au kufanya kazi mahakamani. And you know what it has contributed to being where we are at today I would be lying if I said I know exactly your management culture because if you're not wearing the shoes it is difficult to know how the culture works I can only talk about it as an outsider Patricia alieleza kuwa ujuzi wa kazi ya jaji mkuu ataupata kiendelea kuhudumu iwapo atateuliwa kuongoza mahakama katika uongozi wa maraga kulionekana mvutano baina ya serikali kuu na idara ya mahakama hapo profesa Patricia akaahidi kuwa ataimarisha na kudumisha uhusiano huo wakati wa maraga kulishuhudiwa makato ya bajeti ya idara ya mahakama na vuta ni kuvute kuhusu kuteuliwa kwa majaji 41 what is your solution or proposal to resolve the dilemma of the 41 judges I would be talking to the uh, president you see now as the head of the one arm of government as the chief justice I would approach uh, the chief justice the, the president uh, to get this matter unstuck Profesa huyo wa sheria alionekana kuilaumu serikali kwa kukiuka maagizo ya mahakama akisema hilo atahakikisha limenyoka na kutekelezwa kikamilifu So I would actually Um, talk to the different uh, arms of government about all of us working in concert to ensure that the rule of law uh, is abided by by everybody because failure to abide by the rule of law doesn't hurt just one institution it hurts the whole country hata hivyo Profesa Patricia alijipata na wakati mgumu kujitetea baada ya mawasilisho kutoka kwa umma akishutumiwa kutumia mswada wa mwenzake kupata ufadhili kutoka shirika moja la kimataifa. I did involve Professor Migai and there was going to be an output to that uh, work which was going to be a book uh, co-edited by myself and him. But because his name was not on the concept he uh, uh, developed he d he didn't want to work on it and we give the money back for the book you think it was an omission and are you acknowledging that because i would like to know whether you are acknowledging that there was an er um, maybe an oversight i was using the ford foundation template for converting i mean and you know the concept was just what is the idea kesho itakuwa zamu ya jaji wa mahakama ya rufaa madha kaome kuojiwa na makamishna wa tume hiyo ya GSC Josh Onsare TV 47 Nairobi